That video you saw in Portsmouth has gone viral. Many of you perhaps saw it on national news. And as you just saw in Evans report, folks are still gathering trying to get a glimpse of that monument. Here's 32 News Now reporter Madison Kimbrough continuing our team coverage. A day after protesters tore apart the Confederate monument in Portsmouth, people came to see the aftermath. The paint, the messages in graffiti, the missing heads of Confederate soldiers were some of what was left Thursday morning. The racist things and that we hear as black people that we've just become tone deaf to, that we don't say, we walk away and say, did they really mean that? No, that's not what they said. They didn't say that directly, but yes, they did. <laughs> they did say that. By leaving that monument there, they were saying that. For somebody to um, deface the monument, I mean, it's, it's not it's racism, it's just what they believe in, it's what they fought for, you know, and they died for this. It's time for hate to go and for just a new day, you know, giving homage to hate has to be over. What I have seen was people finally stepping up for what they believe in and getting tired of the bull crap that's been spread around about uh, segregation, racism, and any any materialistic thing that deals with such, people are tired of seeing it. And while people were looking, many were thinking not just about the message, but about the man who had a statue come down on him while the message was being sent. It was part of the aftermath people couldn't see on Court Street on Thursday. In Portsmouth, Madison Kimbrough, 13 News Now.